Hey, football fans. Welcome back to Sportstall, your go-to channel for all things football. We've got an action-packed weekend of Premier League matches to break down for you, with plenty of drama, goals, and even some controversy. Let's dive right into the highlights. First up, Arsenal took on Brighton at the Emirates, and this one had everything. Goals, a red card, and plenty of tension. Arsenal's Kai Havertz put the Gunners ahead in the 38th minute, but the game took a dramatic turn just after half-time. Declan Rice received a straight red card in the 49th minute, leaving Arsenal down to 10 men. Brighton took advantage of the extra man, with Joao Pedro equalising in the 58th minute. Despite the setback, Arsenal managed to hold on for a 1-1 draw. But here's the big question. Was that red card the game-changer? Let us know what you think in the comments. Over at the Brentford Community Stadium, Brentford put on a clinical display against Southampton. Brian Mbumo was on fire, scoring twice, once in the 43rd minute and again in the 65th. Jon Wisser added a third in the 69th minute, sealing the win for Brentford. Despite a late goal from Southampton's Yukonari Sugawara, Brentford came out on top with a 3-1 victory. So, are Brentford emerging as a dark horse this season? Drop your thoughts below. Moving on to Ipswich, where the home salt, or did someone deserve all three points? Leicester City took on Aston Villa in a thrilling encounter at the King Power Stadium. Leicester's Amadou Onana opened the scoring in the 28th minute, but Villa weren't backing down. John Duron equalised for Villa in the 63rd minute, and just minutes after coming off the bench, Facundo Buoninot scored the winner in the 73rd minute. Villa walked away with a hard-fought 2-1 victory. Did Leicester let this one slip, or was Villa just too strong in the end? Nottingham Forest and Wolves played out a quick fire draw at the city ground. Chris Wood gave Forrest the lead in just the 10th minute, but Wolves immediately responded with an equaliser from Jean Richnier Belgard just two minutes later. Despite a lively start, neither team could find a winner, and it ended 1-1. Could either side have done more to secure all three points? We want to hear your thoughts. Erling Haaland continues to prove why he's one of the most feared strikers in the world. Manchester City took the lead against West Ham with Haaland's goal in the 10th minute, but an own goal by Ruben Diaz brought the Hammers level. City didn't let that setback phase them, Haaland scored again in the 30th minute and completed his brace in the 83rd to secure a 3-1 win. Is Haaland unstoppable this season? Let us know in the comments. Chelsea were held to a 1-1 draw by Crystal Palace at Stamford Bridge. Nicholas Jackson gave Chelsea the lead in the 25th minute, but Palace fought back with an equaliser from Eberich Yez in the 53rd. Despite pushing for a winner, Chelsea couldn't break down Palace's resilient defence. Are Chelsea lacking the cutting edge to close out games? Drop your thoughts below. In a thrilling match at St James Park, Newcastle edged past Tottenham 2-1. Harvey Barnes gave Newcastle the lead in the 37th minute, but a Dan Byrne own goal levelled the match in the 56th. Alexander Asak then secured the win for Newcastle with a goal in the 78th minute. Is Newcastle set for a strong run this season? What do you think? And finally, Liverpool absolutely dominated Manchester United at Old Trafford. Luis Diaz opened the scoring in the 35th minute, followed by a quick-fire double from Mohamed Salah, one in the 42nd minute and another in the 56th. Liverpool walked away with a commanding 3-0 victory. Is this the strongest we've seen Liverpool in years, or was it just a poor showing from United? Let us know in the comments below. Goodison Park witnessed a thrilling comeback as Bournemouth snatched a dramatic 3-2 victory against Everton. Michael Keane gave Everton the lead in the 50th minute, and Dominic Calvert-Lewin doubled the advantage in the 57th. But Bournemouth had other plans. Antoine Semenyo pulled one back in the 87th minute, and then it was chaos in stoppage time. Lewis Cook equalised in the 90 plus 2 minutes, and just when it seemed like the points would be shared, Luis Sinistera scored the winner in the 90 plus 6 minutes. Was this the most dramatic match of the weekend? Let us know in the comments. That wraps up our Premier League highlights for this weekend. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Sportstall for more in-depth football analysis and match breakdowns. And as always, we'd love to hear your thoughts on these games, so hit the comments section below. Until next time, keep the football spirit alive.